A local broadcasting legend is being honored at the regional Emmys this weekend. Gordon Ward, they called him Skip, is being inducted in the Gold Circle. It's a special recognition of pioneering broadcasters who've been in the business 50 years or more. Now, when I started working here, I co anchored the noon news with Gordon, and I caught up with him this week. Who's that's, that? yeah. That's you, right? That's me. This is Dave Drury. Dave Drury. And June, June Miller. Miller. There are many pictures and many memories to go with a career that started when Truman was president and the Cleveland Indians won the World Series. They may do it again before I die, I hope. I hope you're right. <laughs> That voice, honey smooth. It's a, a gift from God, and he let me use it for more years than I ever dreamed I'd be around, and I appreciate that. He started using that voice first as an announcer for a Sandusky radio station, moving to Cleveland and announcing for NBC not long after that. In the late 50s, he came to Toledo and WTOL, where he anchored a 15-minute newscast sponsored by the gas company. And it was there that he met the woman who'd become his wife. The minute I laid eyes on her, I thought, oh boy, this is the one. Constance Harlan was Romper Room's beloved Miss Connie. The couple so popular, their wedding was televised. Here we are 54 years later, and it worked. He came to work here in 1967. He's a leader. Back then, 13 ABC was known as WSPD TV. We called it 13 Strong, and we were an NBC affiliate. The change of station turned out to be a godsend for us. How so? Well, it gave us uh, stability, uh, which uh, is unusual in TV days. Gordon would work here for another 20 years. He and the late Frank Venner delivered the news with the Venner Ward Report, patterned after the Huntley Brinkley Report. He retired in 1987. At the time, he and I co anchored the noon news. But he remained active in the community, and you can still see him on television doing commercials. Connie and I like to try out products before we buy them. And he even appeared on 13 ABC News again when our Tony Geftis interviewed the Korean War vet taking his first honor flight. It makes it much easier for all of us. Tony nominated Gordon for induction in the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences Gold Circle, which will be the capper to a brilliant career. I am extremely honored and yet have to thank Tony personally for it. And it's, uh, it's quite, uh, quite an honor. Mm. Oh, and he's going to get the chance to thank Tony tomorrow at the Emmys in Sandusky when he's officially inducted in the Gold Circle, and I have the honor of doing oh the induction. Oh, my goodness. So, yeah. Full circle. It is great.